welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm here with a Diamond Art Club unboxing. If you can believe it, I'm filming this on October 23rd, I believe today's date is. And this is the last Diamond Art Club that I've purchased. And I only purchased it because it came up as like low inventory or low stock on the discontinued page. And I knew it was one that I wanted. Also, I'm here to call myself out for being the biggest liar pants ever because I said in a recent video that while I liked Tana Lynn's art, I didn't have like a need or an obsession or I didn't have a lot in my stash. Well, when I found out that this one was close to being sold out, I stopped everything and I needed to purchase. So apparently I do have a need and an obsession and a love <laughs> for Hannah Lynn. Um, this one has been out for a while. It's been on my wish list for a while. Um, and I just, when I saw it was gonna go, I was like, okay, this is your chance. You need to buy it. And I love it so much that I've actually worked it into my rotation, I think. I think I've managed to fit it in this year. So keep, keep your eyes peeled for potential uh, November kit more information in my uh, October month in review. But this is First Snow from Hannah Lynn. It's a round and it's a 51 by 71 centimeter kit. There are 47 colors and two ABs. Here is our sticker sheets. Isn't she just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a big liar pants, okay? You can tell me down below. Let's take a quick look at this toolkit and then we will get into the kit itself. So we have a blue pen, some baggies. Ooh, I don't think I have this binder. A blue squishy, heart shaped caddy with two pieces of wax. We have the sparkly tray with some multi placers and a tray stopper a foiled washi, which actually would go really well with this kit. And last but not least, I have a really cute cover minder. I'm looking over at my board and I don't think I have any of their feather cover minders. So a new one to add to my stash. Here are the drills. Lots of ooh, pretty colors. Lots of neutrals, but then you have some like pops of pink and red and greens and blues. Really pretty. Um, one of our ABs is 141, the white. And the other, I believe, is a red. If I can find that. Oh, it's actually an orange. So it's that orange right there. It was just the 218, right? Yes, 133 and 141. All right. I was just taking a quick look at these drills. I'm trying to see. I don't quite know when exactly this kit was ordered. I know when I ordered it, but I don't know how long it was sitting in Diamond Art Club's uh, warehouse. I know it's not one of the newest running runs because it ha there are the other color. It's not the new drill field, if that makes sense. There is a new uh, Diamond Art Club uh, drill field for rounds where you don't have like the funky colors. So that's probably like a brown, but it's showing up as red because the drill field is printed that way. Um, I actually haven't seen any of the new um drill fields again because I haven't bought any kits who am I who is she <laughs> um so I'm assuming these are the newer rounds but not like the newest run of kits does anybody know why so many Hannah Lynn's are being discontinued anyone like I'm working on a Hannah Lynn right now um and it's been discontinued and this one's being discontinued I'm really hoping that they bring back Poinsettia Pixie because that one is a need, but that one's on the discontinued list. I don't get it. Ugh, I don't, why? I know she's licensed with a lot of people and I don't think that Diamond Art Club is 
losing her artwork. I'm just curious as to why a lot of the older stuff is being discontinued. And Poinsettia Pixie came out like last Black Friday. And I don't think that that's restocked. So I'm hoping, really hoping it comes in so I can snag that one because I absolutely love it. Anyway, back to this kit. <laughs> um, as far as the ABs, so that orange AB, there are some in her lips. And then there's also some, I can't tell if this is like holding her shawl closed or if it's a necklace, but there's some around there and there's also some in her headpiece or her barrette, I guess. Um, and then the, the 141 AB, which is the white, where you see the snowflakes kind of falling from the sky. So there's some on the wolf. Uh, is this a wolf or a husky? What do you think? I think it's a wolf, right? looks like a wolf. Um, there's also some along the top of the mountain, I believe. And then there's some right along here on her jacket. Um, yeah, not much to say about this kit other than it is discontinued. I don't, or it's being discontinued. I'm not sure if it's still available. Uh, so definitely check out Diamond Art Club's last chance section on their website. Uh, if you know why there are so many Hamelins on that list, please let me know. I'm very curious um, because I know she's definitely a fan favorite for a lot of DAC customers. And as someone who has said in the past that she doesn't have a lot of Hamelins, I've quickly amassed a collection. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm curious. If you know, I know she's available at other companies, but I think... Her following has definitely been made through Diamond Art Club uh, on the diamond painting side. I know she has coloring books. I know she was there first. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know if you've picked up this kit. I've seen it completed. It's really beautiful. Uh, I am looking forward to working on it. I'm hoping, really hoping that I can squeeze it in in November of this year. I've been averaging about four kits a month and I had only planned three for November. So when I was kind of trying to figure out if I could fit this one in, November just seemed like the best time. And I did want to fit it in during November slash December because it looks like the trees in the background are decorated possibly with ornaments or something like that. And it is called First Snow. We normally have our first snow in November in New York State. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my, those are my plans. Uh, let me know if you've worked on this kit. Um, or if you picked it up while it's been on the last chance section. If you know why there's so many handlelins, make sure you let me know. I'm asking for a lot in this video. I apologize, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!